June 1st of 2022, a turtle came and laid her eggs in my front lawn. After she lays them, I'll need to protect them. Otherwise, raccoons or other animals will dig them up and eat them. This is one of two turtles that laid their eggs in my yard. I've managed to save over two dozen turtles in four years. I'm using an old fan shroud to protect the nest. I use some old shoe rack brackets to secure the fan shroud to the ground. My grandson wanted help, so I let him finish securing the shroud to the ground. Do the other side. Do the other one. All right, good job. Now I wait for 82 days, and then I'll check on them and see if they've hatched. First I'll remove the grate, then I'll drill some holes to see if they've hatched or not. Once I've removed all the grass, I'll take a drill bit and very carefully start drilling into the, uh, the cap of the nest. I do this very carefully so I can feel any change in the way the ground feels because sometimes there may not be a void uh, inside the nest because they're so packed together. One year I was able to drill through and I felt a, a void. That's when I knew to stop. The other years I can feel no void so I had to feel any change in the way the ground felt as I was drilling through. As soon as I feel a change in the ground, I will check with a scope to see if I've uh, reached the nest or not. By the looks of it, it looks like I've reached an egg or an egg shell. Uh, so now I'll, I'll stop and drill another hole uh, to see if I can get around that. I couldn't be sure with the first hole, so I have drilled another hole. And I may do this several times just to make sure I'm uh, I know what I'm looking at because if they haven't hatched yet the best place for them to be is underground otherwise if you dig them up too soon and they haven't hatched you have to go through a lot of steps just to make help them survive until they do hatch now it looks like I'm deep enough and by the looks of the shell it looks like it's been hatched I still don't see a turtle even though it appears they're hatched I want to make certain before I start digging them up so now what I'm looking for is any kind of movement uh, the color of a shell, the face. Uh, once I see that, then I'll be confident enough to dig up the hole. Now right there, I thought I saw some movement, but I'm not 100% sure. Now I'll be looking through both portals to check for any movement. There it is. Now I'm sure they're hatched and now I can dig them up. Now they're moving around quite a bit. There's the turtle right there in that spot. You can just see them. Now I carefully dig up the nest, making sure I don't injure any of the turtles. At this point, I'm not sure how many they are, so I'm going to be extra careful. Oh. There he comes. <laughs> there he comes. Where are you going, little buddy? <laughs> Look at the size of that guy, huh? Where is he going? The other ones haven't moved yet, so I'm going to have to move away a little bit more of the dirt. Apparently they're not as eager to come out as the other one was. Comes the other one. Come on, buddy. Come on.
Yeah, he's being a little scared. I don't think he likes the light. There's number two. <laughs> Here comes some more. <laughs> There's a couple. <laughs> this little guy is being a little stubborn. <laughs> Here he comes. Look at that, huh? I carefully checked the rest of the nest, and there were only three turtles in this nest. A week after this turtle made this nest, Another one came up and made a nest in my mulch. So I waited another week before I checked on this nest. I was able to protect these eggs with a grill that I had left over from inside the house. I did the same thing with this nest as I did the other. I gently drilled a couple of holes, uh, making sure I didn't do any damage to the eggs or the turtles. Can you hear that annoying squeaking in the background? I thought that was my wife's windmill, but it turns out it's something else. And that noise is coming from a living creature. If you think you know what it is, leave me a comment in the comment section. In the next minute or so, I'll tell you what I think it is. I'm not 100% sure, but I think I know what it is. I had a hard time seeing any movement in this nest. There's our turtle. I do think that this area right here might be a turtle. He's just not moving. Because of the amount of time they've been underground, I'm pretty sure I'll be okay if I dig them up. And they weren't very far down either. There they are. There he is. They're awake. There's a bunch of them awake. Oh yeah. Come here, buddy. Hello. He's like, I don't want to see it. There's a lot more than three turtles in this nest. I've already taken one of them out, and right here I can see at least four, maybe five left inside. Here comes both their heads. So the thing that's making the squeaking noise, I believe, is a bug, and it's a katydid. I'm not 100% sure, so let me know in the comments if, if I'm right or not. They were packed in there pretty good. Let's get you in there. Number three. I 
I see at least one, two, three, four in there right now. Five. Five more. That one's not quite sure if he wants to come out or not. Here they come. He's, he's being stubborn. He's like, leave me alone. Turns out there were nine turtles in that nest altogether. Now I have 12, counting the ones I dug up uh, last week. Now I'll put them in a tank and take care of them for the winter. By April of next year, they will go from being just a little bit larger than a nickel to the size of a coffee cup lid. I usually let the turtles go in June, and I'll keep one or two until I get a new batch of turtles. Because I have 12 of them this time, I'll have to let most of them go a little bit sooner than normal. Because the tank will be too small for that many turtles, the stronger ones will gain up on the weaker ones and start trying to eat them. If you want to see more turtle videos, let me know in the comments section. Until next time, thanks for watching.